Hey everybody, this is two boys, one brain cell. I'm Chuck Beeson. This is Joel Norton. And today we are work reacting to working class whore by pulley. Speaking of working class whore, maybe it's time to uh, put away the porn voice, bud. <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Joel. You're welcome. Rude. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, This is a Patreon. Awesome. Uh, pick. And if you want to join our Patreon, you can jump down in the description down below and check that out. Absolutely. Um, what's the, what do you think the album name is? Shit or fuck. I'm, I'm going fuck because that's a well-placed fuck. Is it? Just right off the bat. Yeah. That's what I'm going with. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> it, it's just four symbols. It's fine. It's four symbols. Four characters, realistically, but. You want to send it? Yeah, send it. I I don't know what, what we're getting ourselves into here. <laughs> Me neither. I'm guessing punk, but I don't know. It's pulley. It's pulley. Dude. No? You feel that? Uh, yeah, I feel I feel it. Yeah. They're talking about us? I think so. <laughs> Sounds delicious. <laughs> First of all, the energy. Phenomenal. Yeah. Really like his vo like his vocals. Sound great. Yeah. You know, I always said, uh, you know, I've always said we just get paid for our bodies. Yeah. With what we do for a living. Yep. Never really thought about putting it in terminology like working class or. Yeah. But it fits. It does, yeah. Yeah, everything, dude. Yeah. That's, that's, uh. There was one part I was like, oh, okay. Basically, he was like talking about how he wants to, wants to do better, but. He has no momentum to spare. Yeah. <clears throat> hmm. I put in the overtime on the corporate oh. ladder climb. Right there. So many times. I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead. Continue, bud. Um, I'm respected inside these walls. I make my Germany home to watch TV all alone. So literally from that, like he's going to work to make money, but he, he's also going he to work. important there too. Because he's getting that, I guess, the, the respect that he needs to feel. A sense of fulfillment a little bit. Yeah. Um. Also, it says, this is the part I liked, um, outside I'm nothing at all. So many times I wish I could make a difference in this world, but I work for a living and I get it done. I do it just as I'm told. Yeah. I definitely can connect with that. Like, I want to do stuff to help make a difference in the world. Yeah. But then you get home from work. And you're just exhausted. You're freaking exhausted. Because, you know. Yeah, it's pretty close to home. Yeah. And I mean, you work hard. So do you, bud. Yeah. 
But, I mean, you get home and it's just like, uh, which nails with that. Uh, Sorry, I can scroll for you if you want. Up top? Yeah. Um, Where is it at? Uh, Sorry, it's not very helpful, the lyrics that we have set up here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I keep my nose pressed to the grindstone. I find comfort there. Oh, I don't have a moment to spare right there. Yep. Because, you know, he's just exhausted. Yeah. Uh, that's, I'm pretty much, yeah. Yeah, I feel that. It's legitimately talking about the work-life grind. Yeah. You come home from work, and you just kind of float through the rest of your day. Yeah, that's because at the end of the day, like, everybody's always taught us that there's a work-life balance, and you got to flip that because your life should be they more They taught important. you about a work, work-life balance? Then that's what they always call it. they tell you just to go to work and do good? Well, like... Because that's what I was... I was. I was always told that you need to have a work-life balance, but you have to work. And then I became, for a while, I was a workaholic. I was working three jobs at one point just because. Yeah. And then I got a job where I could work, you know, as many hours as I wanted to. Yeah. Where I was working with you. Yep. And then now I just work a good 40-hour week job because... Are you saying I corrupted you? Yeah. It did not being a hard worker. You, well, you no. You turned it into where I have more of an understanding that there's a life work. My life should come first. You know what's funny? I've had a lot of people say that to me. So like, yeah, I never wasn't like that time I met you and now you were like, Why the fuck are you working so hard? Well, I mean at the and end I'm of the day, say being lazy at work. That's what that's no, not what I was No, no, it's it's why are you working seventy, eighty, ninety hours a week? You have no time to do anything with friends or family. Yeah. And you're not only, living anymore. You're just yeah, making money. You're only put on this world for so long, man. Yeah. Enjoy the ride. Right. Why are we working to like we're working was, to live, not living Yeah. Well, we're realistically we're living to work, not working just to live. Right. Yeah. And that that's uh And that's that's an issue for me. Yeah. I got much better things to look do. Look at that. You taught me something. <sighs> I love you. Finish the song up, but yeah. We've babbled long enough. <laughs> <laughs> Low build up. Ooh, some just baseline drums on the way out, huh? Yeah. I actually, I actually really like that because I feel like it kind of takes away from the, because uh, honestly, this could be, I don't know if you want to call it a pop punk song because that's a pretty punk song, but um, it all, it, you know how the, it's all a format. You know okay. I mean? Yeah. Verse, chorus, verse, right. chorus, verse. It's and formatted. Then, and then you just change the whole game by doing an outro like that on a song that was very well polished and. Felt, you know what I mean? Like, oh, you knew exactly how it was going to end, and it didn't end yeah. that way. Yeah, So kind of threw a curveball, I guess is what I'm saying. Yeah. And it doesn't sound like every other radio song out there. Right. And once <clears throat> there at the end when it started with that, I'm just another working, working class whore. Yeah. I'm like, okay, this is going to get repetitive. Yeah, I was a little, a little worried. I saw a minute <clears throat> left still. I was like. Yeah. And then after four of them, he's just like done. And he's like. And I'm right. like. He's like, bass, bass guy, drums, take it out. 
I'm like, uh, okay. And that was some old school drum work too. That was some stuff that I'm more used to like when I was in school. Yeah. You'd hear that that kind of drumming from the band. Yeah, that uh rather than obviously your what you're expecting from the drums. Right. The drum line there. Um yeah, that song definitely hits home. Yum. In so many ways. Mm. And then he just brings up, "Hey, you got all these bills." And it's like, "Damn." I don't well, it's a, it's a, it's the uh, eternal fight, right? Inside, yeah. you're 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 like, hey, I I mean, while I feel comfortable here because I I know I'm good at what I do, mm-hmm. I am respected here, but I'm not really happy here. And then I go home and go, maybe I could do more with my life, but you're so exhausted, you float the rest of your day. Yep. And then by the end of it, or maybe you're like, oh, I could do more, and then you're like, well, damn, no, I can't really because I gotta gotta pay his bills and then i gotta get I, I, I gotta get ahead um, i gotta get ahead on my bills yep and well, then i gotta get up in the morning and do it all and over then you, again and then you said well guess what i'm gonna do i'm doing this all over again right yep and it's just that ever-ending circle of like you doubt yourself you're not truly happy either while mm-hmm. you're at the same time sort of proud of where you're at yeah but it's like it's a, just a giant bundle of human confusion yep. Yep, and it, then it's also I want to save this money. I want to have you know however much in your account, and yeah, for just in case. Yeah, and then it's like okay, once you get there, shit hits the fan every time. Yeah, and I I <laughs> think this is honestly kind of a, one of those realization songs where you're like, oh shit, yeah, I'm spending my entire life working for a corporation that doesn't give two shits about me. Yep, and uh, while I might find enjoyable in parts. I've lived my life for that corporation and not for myself. Right. And that's exactly. That yeah. And that's why, you know, yeah, you came up with ideas to start, you know, businesses and stuff to try to get out of just that groove. Start working for yourself <laughs> a little bit. It didn't work at all, but no. it was worth a try, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Those are great ideas. I'm like, Chuck, hear me out. Publishing. Publishing's <laughs> awesome. Okay. We have a passion for it. 30 cents a book. Let's go killing (laughs) (laughs) but at the same time we had a blast doing that and that's just part of the adventure yeah and i mean it's something that we could do to have fun too and even if it only makes us a couple bucks it makes us a couple bucks that's cool yeah it's not really about money in the no well i think after about happiness after a year or two i think it's it it, it was a realization of like you know we're not making money from this every day every year our tax lady goes is this really worth it boys yeah like is this worth what you're paying to pin taxes to keep this running. And um, I think by year two, I think me and you were talking and we were like, you know, it's been a fucking adventure though. Yeah. It's been an experience. Because I remember I put a, when we first started everything, I put a timeline on things. Yeah. Yep. And then it was like, okay, we're pushing it towards that timeline. Yeah, I don't care. We're having fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's fine. just something different. And it's like, we're proud of the end product that we're putting out. Yeah. And we got to learn about a lot about an industry that we really had a fucking no clue about. <laughs> yeah, no shit. And then we wouldn't have been here either. We're doing it either. Right. You know, when things got a little stressful, instead of just saying, hey, we're not going to be able, we're, we're done with this. We said, hey, let's find a way to make it fun. Yeah. And here we are doing fucking music reactions and having a blast. Absolutely. I hate him. <laughs> Rude. Not. <laughs> <laughs> but no, this song... It, it, and those are just things that just popped into our heads because we could sit here and talk about this to- song for days because it just hits home. Yep. It is uh, something very relatable. Yes, 100%. So uh, how about we jump into ratings? ratings? Yeah, I was, I was, yeah, I was ready for a long time ago. I didn't want to talk about all this stuff. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think I did most of the talking on this one. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to start? Yeah. 8.2. Okay, okay, I, I see love you. It. I know the, the outro is a little odd, but I really like that. Yeah, I'm going with a flat eight myself. Damn. Yeah, this is Look a very you. good song. Look at you, guy. Look at you. This is very good. You, uh... It's going in a playlist. There you go. Sweet. Is it I mean, I assume, yeah, of course. All right. <laughs> 8.2 of a fucking better be. Yeah, right? <laughs> um. Yeah, that's a solid-ass song, dude. Lyric, Absolutely. Lyrically, I just really enjoyed that. You legitly felt... The emotion, uh, not like, not the emotion exactly, but the thought process, and that we've been there before. Yeah, and that I mean, was what was cool about it. Yeah, it was, and slightly depressing. But dude, the so worst cool. part is, it's like we're sitting here reminiscing about how we were when we met. 
Yeah. Like way back when. It's like, yeah. oh yeah, yep, yep. That we were Yup, that's us. <laughs> we we were uh those kids that were eager to get out there and work. You know, hundred percent. Just like our family, our parents did, you know, and mm-hmm. then you get out there and you're like, this is bullshit. <laughs> you, you, you get into more of your adulthood and you start maturing more and you're just like, the fuck am I doing? <laughs> yeah. Why am I doing this? But yeah. Well, um, anyway, that is our reaction and our review Shout out and our turn. constant badgering back and forth about this song because it is phenomenal about working class whore. First of all, I was not bad. By pulley. Yet. All right, not badgering. How dare you even <laughs> insinuate such a thing? We were conversating. Yes, conversing. Unless you were annoyed at what I was saying to you. No. And then no. it would be taken back. I'm getting could. annoyed now, but. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But shout out to the Patreon for the request. We appreciate you. And if you liked our reaction to this one, go ahead and give us a like. And if you really liked it, hit that subscribe for us. And if and, you uh, hated it, dislike it. I mean, that's fine, too. Do YouTubers normally do that? Fucking dislike it. <laughs> dislike if you don't like it. <laughs> Tell us what you really think. <laughs> yeah, baby. And if you think we talk too much, just drop that in the comments. Tell us to shut the fuck up. <laughs> but that's not fun. he's Joel Norton. I'm Chuck Beeson. Peace out. Would you be able to live without talking a lot? No. No. <laughs>